What's up, guys? Welcome back to more Star Wars Rebels. We're on season two, episode seven, I believe. We last left off with an episode of Ezra and Hondo, to my surprise. They bonded for a bit. Ezra reminisced of being a pirate in another life. Ezra also scared away as Morgan. We saw him again. But yeah, that's about it. That was a very fun episode. I enjoyed that a lot. But anyways, we're going to hop into this one. Definitely leave a like on the video. Comment your thoughts when the episode is over. Subscribe. We're on the road to 20,000 subs in 2024. And if you want to watch early episodes of Star Wars Rebels or Bad Batch, which is also going on at the same time, so go check those out. Uh, you can hit the join button to become an honorary Marlian to get early episodes. Let's hop into the episode. Strong, my friend. We'll be there soon. You have our deepest gratitude, Phoenix Squadron. Phoenix Squadron. No longer Ghost Crew? Attention, Rebel Convoy. This system is under Imperial control. Stand down or be destroyed. What a surprise. I Make doubt it. Destroyed. As ready as we'll ever be, Captain Sindula. All fighters, attack formation. I did not expect. Him to also be voicing the rebels. <laughs> Just voice everyone. That still looks so fun. I'll say it every time. Callus, stand down. You you have you stand no match. Oh. Oh wait. Oh my gosh, he's winning. What? Is our boy on there? I don't think so. Is Ahsoka on there? All right, Agent Callus, you may have won this one, but you will not win the war. Kind of. Okay, they're winning. They're actually. Uh, they had to run. Okay, they didn't lose this main one. Okay. I know I can get at least one through. We don't have much time. The people of Ibar won't last another rotation without our help. I agree we must try. But our entire fleet is no match for that blockade. I've been in contact with an engineer who has no love for the Empire and who claims to have built a prototype heavy assault starfighter, a blockade buster. What's the problem? Blockade buster? Master Quarry will only discuss his ship in person on the planet Shantipole. Shantipole? Every pilot in the galaxy knows it's a one-way trip. Hera will go. Kanan, no. We do need to see more Hera. She's always getting sidelined. I feel like everyone else is always getting so much screen time. She's got to do all the adult stuff and stay behind in the ship. After what happened, the fleet needs me now more than ever. True, the fleet needs a solution, but one that neither you nor Agent Callus are able to see. We can't beat that blockade. Not without a better ship, with better firepower, and the best pilot at the controls. Even if this ship turns out to be everything we hope it is, I still might not make it back in time to help. Then you better hurry. What is this ship going to be? Is it like the Millennium Falcon or something? Millennium. I'm in the chair. I'm co-pilot. <laughs> Kanan, would you tell him I'm co-piloting? You're co-irritating me, both of you. <laughs> that is true. When will they get along? The upper atmosphere is tricky. Tricky how? You can get through it, but your craft never seems to maintain its power. Whoa, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. It means <laughs> well, power. How do you not understand? Just falling. <laughs> falling. <laughs> yeah. Could have mentioned this before I got on board. You wouldn't have come. <laughs> That's probably true. Yeah, that does make it pretty tricky to land. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Wait, that, is ship. that was a ship. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is the planet C3PO and R2 landed on that one time when they ran out of power? I don't know why, it seems familiar. Oh. Zeb! Zeb, run to the back. Back of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> is it really that heavy? Zeb saved the day. Easy. Oh. It can fly here, it can fly anywhere. 
And it's also the last mm -hmm. place the Empire would look. Come, let's get out of this wind. I don't get many visitors. Most of them crash. <laughs> there she is. So you could say it's a trap. That's a this shit. planet. Is it upside down? Looks like it's been through a garbage masher. Great. I can't wait to take it out. The fleet really needs this. A fleet, huh? What makes you think she's yours just for the taking? Does he not want it used in war or something? I mean, he equipped it with all these weapons, so never mind. I've waited a long time for the right pilot. I can wait longer. Does she have to prove herself to be the right pilot? Would any pilot risk their life to come to this death trap? Perhaps not. So why did you? I was a little girl when the Clone War came to Ryloth. My mother hid us below ground, but I'd peek out when the mm. Republic ships flew over. So you left your family to fight? I left my family so I could fly. As a combat pilot? Interesting. If we want freedom, we must make difficult choices. I chose to learn to fly, and then I chose to use that ability to help others in need. He's testing her. Feeling her out. Because even when there are explosions all around me and things are at their worst, I feel like I'm at my best. Dang. Inspiring. There are beings in need of help. Was Chop always hers, my I wonder? Is in need of a pilot. Easy, yoink. She made up the whole thing. Dang, I do wish we got some flashbacks of Hera on Ryloth, because we were... We saw the Battle of Ryloth. I specifically remember Ryloth from Clone Wars. I want some flashbacks of her, like, looking up. Maybe we'll get that eventually. But that would be nice. Oh, it's almost like a Cloud City thing, but much bigger. You're lucky to have it. Maybe it's just the orange that reminds me of that. Oh, I don't fly. Too dangerous. But theoretically... How'd you get up here? Fly. Theoretically. theoretically. <laughs> uh, better to be down here. Uh, I guess that's true. I trust him. Oh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> no, she'll, she'll back up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it opens up. It looks like a B wing. I don't know. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. The cockpit's like a gyroscope and the whole wing goes around it. It like, it like stays upright. This thing looks pretty cool. I was kind of hoping your ship packed more of a punch, Quarry. Try the iron cannons. On the right. No. Try again. What? What is this thing? Who's this man? We're getting this for free? <laughs> He's so proud. Yo, okay. This ship in the hangar did not look that cool. I was like, oh, I hope this doesn't replace the uh, the ghost or the phantom. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's just a ship for one, though, I think. Right? Just one little cockpit. There's a fighter. So it's a really cool fighter, though. And I want Sabine to paint it. Dang. <laughs> this thing is crazy. And the folding wings looks very nice. Let her paint it. Get between a Mandalorian and a weapons package. That's kind of true. Never get between a Mandalorian and a weapons package. I'll remember that forever, Sabine. The ship is exactly what the rebellion needs. That's great news, Hera. Kanan, they're starting. What's going on? The Ivarians contacted us. They're at their breaking point. <sighs> they need the supplies. Sato's ordered the second attack on the blockade. Get up there. The energy drain from the multi-cannon firing system killed the hyperdrive. In basic, please. Ugh, the weapons work. But that was basic. <laughs> Is Zeb getting dumber? There are all sorts of adjustments that need to be made. For instance, I don't even like this paint job so much. <gasps> hang on, hang on, <laughs> Zeb. Easy. Ah, oh. Oh, it's a shame I had BG install that other hyperdrive on the Phantom. You what? I don't like seeing a ship that can't fly. 
during Boy, that's actually pass, nice. I upgraded it because if you don't have a hyperdrive, you can't fly. I was just saying that two episodes ago. I don't think it has a hyperdrive. Now it does. That's the answer to our problem. Right, right. What's the answer? <laughs> Take it out of the Phantom and put it in the new thing. I wonder what the new ship's gonna be called. Rex, keep those ties off our back. Working on it. Worst TIE fighter pl pilot I've ever seen. Stay on course, Ghost. I'll knock that cruiser out of your way. Whoa. Turn me loose, Wait. Phantom. Say hello to Callus for me. That's another way to do it. Anything left of him. I really thought of that for a second, but I was like, nah, that's not possible. They really did just attach it to it and hyperdrive it with it. I guess that's what the ghost does with the Phantom all the time, but with something like this, it didn't seem possible. One shuttle and one ship of unknown design. I would hardly unknown design. Enforcements. Oh, wait till you see it's lasers. It's got like a Death Star laser. Where all the beams like this. conjugate to one beam. Steady, steady. A little closer. Fire. <laughs> That's so cool. Why does this random dude on this planet, this random Mon Calamari, have a ship of this power? Dang, dude, if you could design something like this, I'm surprised not more people, more people don't have ships like this. So maybe it's not such a hunk of junk after all. We've recovered the drop. Thank you, Phoenix Squadron. He just gets crushed by one. Let's go home, Phoenix Squadron. Yo, he doesn't ever. <laughs> he can't please the Empire. It seems Senator Organa has found a ship work sympathetic to our cause and willing to manufacture more of these B wings in secret. Project Chantipole. It is a B wing. I was right. Under my supervision, of course. <laughs> Wait, was it maybe the first B wing? He said B wing like it was a question. Like these are uh, B wings. I'll call you Darth. Vader? Yeah, he said it with like a question mark. Maybe this guy made the first ever B-Wing. That would be insane. Your heroics are unparalleled, Captain Sindula. That is why I agree with Kanan's And she flew the first ever one? Maybe. What have you done now? Just listen to the commander. You are to be promoted to Phoenix leader. Our fighter pilots Dang. will benefit greatly from your expertise. Let's go. Good job, Captain Hera. <laughs> that's cute that is a really cool way to like put a ship design into the star wars universe because i was like i didn't want to say it right away because i'm like it just looks like a at first i said it looks like a cloud uh city vehicle just because of the orange but then later once it unfolded and everything i was like okay it kind of looks like a b-wing like maybe he took a b-wing and like took it apart and did all this but then by the end you find out this is the first b-wing and Hera kind of flew the first B-Wing. I thought B-Wings might have also been a thing, kind of, back in the Clone Wars, but I guess not. They basically had Y-Wings in the Clone Wars, too, with, like, certain things. I don't know. Ships are weird to me in Star Wars. Let me look up. What was the Clone Wars Y-Wing called? Yeah, so Clone Wars did have a Y-Wing. Not the exact Y-Wing from, obviously, the other eras, but the BTLB Y-Wing. Oh, it's too many. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of ships just look crazy in Star Wars. I get confused between all of them, but I'm glad I was able to say this one was the B-Wing. That is cool. Lore behind it, the B-Wing. And she, I, this is the first time I feel like we heard Phoenix Squadron. So their whole group all together as like their own cell is Phoenix Squadron. And she's now the captain of it. That's cool. I do like hearing finally a little bit about Hera's backstory from how she wanted to become a pilot since she was really little. Um, she was on Ryloth when the Battle of Ryloth was happening between the um, clones and the CIS. So that's cool. I just kind of wish that story was more of a show, not tell. But I did like seeing her face and hearing the background music play when she was telling it. But I wish we did get to see a little bit more of it. 
which we might in the future. So the first thing I thought when I saw the ship and Hera flying it was Sabine should paint that thing because it's a little ugly. Um, and then the, the Mon Calamari old man, he said, I'm not quite satisfied with the paint job yet. So <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing we will see her painted eventually. The orange isn't bad. The, the TIE fighter that looked orange, I did say when it first appeared, I kind of like it. And then the stormtrooper in the base said, I kind of like it too. <laughs> so the orange isn't bad, but um, some nice Sabine designs would, would fit quite well. Star Wars, man, it works so well as a show, I've got to say, just because like there are certain aspects of how each episode you can like upgrade things in the universe compared to movies where it's just you go from one movie to the next and things are already fully upgraded um, or advanced like in technology. In this, like even the little details like Sabine's armor changing, her hair changing, um, seeing characters grow throughout the seasons, seeing in Clone Wars like their armor upgrades and all this different stuff. I love how the ships have upgraded throughout Star Wars as well. Specifically, I remember in season seven of Clone Wars, clones started flying ships that had like almost TIE fighter-ish Empire wings on them. And we see a little bit of that, I think in Bad Batch also, or at the beginning of this show, I don't know. But I pointed that out, I was like, their wings look like they're upgrading into TIE fighter wings. And just like seeing that is really cool. Because you get like, it's almost like hints that the Empire is coming. Because you know what the future ships will look like. You know they'll have those same exact wings on them. So I do like learning about that kind of stuff. Now I'm just wondering how they're going to keep that ship with them all this time. Like, is it just going to go to the fleet? Or is it going to be specifically Hera's? Is she still going to hang out in the Ghost with the rest of the crew? I mean, she better. But I guess whenever they need to go into a fight, she's prepared to jump in that thing. Maybe it just attaches to one of their other ships for now or something. Or someone else is piloting it. I don't know. Hopefully they all learn to fly one day. That'd be kind of cool. But it is what makes Hera really unique here. She's like the best pilot in the group. But specifically Ezra last episode said that he hasn't really had flight training. Chopper was making fun of him apparently. I couldn't hear it. I don't really understand Chop that well. But he was making fun of Ezra's flying at one point. So maybe she'll eventually teach Ezra. So Callus was a little scary at the beginning of this episode. Like their rebel fleet was getting pretty destroyed. But still, we haven't really seen Callus be able to do anything on his own. He just uses the troopers, uh, which is kind of what he's supposed to do. The only time we've seen him actually like fight fight was, was that like episode two or something? When he, f he was like, come here, let's saw it. But he had like the big thing and he fought Zeb. I want to see more of what Callus is capable of. Can he fly a ship on his own like Vader and start fighting the fleet that way? I hope Callus becomes a bigger, more interesting character in the future. Instead of him just showing up, we just see his reaction to getting destroyed every single time. It feels like the same. Like if anyone saw a shot of Callus, you just like post a shot on Twitter or something, you would have no idea what episode that's from because he's always, it's like the same shot of him in front of two troopers telling them to fire better or like target the ghost or <laughs> do something so i hope he does become a more interesting character in the future right now he's kind of just the same almost every single time but i do like seeing him i think it's funny uh it reminds me of grievous and clone wars how he's always running away or dooku except they were like actual like big threats that i had a connection to from the movies but yeah they always just ended up running away every fight they the rebel crew here doesn't seem to care much about callus as a big threat they kind of just leave him every single time. So he didn't even run away from this fight. They just left him. But anyways, enjoyed this episode. Don't know if that Mon Calamari man is going to stick around on the crew or not. Don't think he turns out to be Adam Morak Bar or anything like that. He had a beard and didn't look like him at all. So anyways, that is it for this one. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 20,000 subs in 2024. Hit the join button if you want to watch the next episode early. And that's it. See you guys in the next one.